What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate all the new subscribers. Finally over 700. Can't believe 700 of you want to watch me. But it's cool. Appreciate the support. Uh, if you're new to the channel and you came over from Turbo John's channel, go back to a few videos ago where uh, whenever he was at my house picking up the white Mustang. Uh, comment on that video that you subbed to my channel and get entered into win a, win a t-shirt. Once I hit a thousand subscribers, we'll be giving that away on Turbo John's channel. I got some exciting news, as y'all know, if you watch Turbo John's channel, if you don't watch Turbo John's channel, go over to his channel, subscribe, hit the bell, so you can get notifications of new videos that he's posting out. But as y'all know, uh, he got into the 16 car invitational to, to Cletus McFarland's race on Monday. I was pretty bummed out about it whenever he, he shot me a text, invited me to go with him. I wasn't going to be able to go, I couldn't get out of work, but... I was talking to my boss today about it, and he was like, man, I really want you to go to that, pull some strings for me, and I got uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week off, so I'm able to go now. So I'm going to be able to go down with Turbo John, the the crew, to help with Turbo John in that race. Hopefully, we can pull pull the win in that race. To, I, don't, I haven't talked to him much today, I think. Hopefully, he found a Christmas tree. We'll find a good Christmas tree, put some lights on it, have a little fun down there with uh, Cletus McFarlane, that, that whole crew, this 16-car uh, quarter-mile invitational race. So tonight, I'm trying to go to, to B&K Performance, help John set up the car, make any changes we need to. I don't know if he decided to change the rear gear or not. Last time we talked last night, he wasn't going to change it. He's probably been contemplating it looking at data and whatnot, seeing if we're going to need to change it or not. Uh, so he's got a 390 gear in the car. See if we need to go to like, if he can find a 355. He has a 373, but it's, that's really not, not that much of a change. It's not really worth changing the gear for that little of a change, but we'll see. But, but yeah, coming up, uh, either Monday night or Tuesday, you should have some, some footage on here from that that Christmas Christmas tree race from uh, Cletus McFarland, uh, the Mc, excuse me Cletus McFarland's race. We're racing a Christmas tree on top of the car in the quarter mile. But what I have in store today, I finally got everything for my welder. I got my extension cord set up. I have turned the welder on, so it does work. I got a lot of comments in the last video of guys wanting to see what I've done to make that extension cord. It is plugged into the house and where my uh, dryer plugs in. So I am going to do a video on that. Uh, show y'all what I've done, what I used. Mine is 25 feet long. So I should have, I should have probably made it, made it, it. <laughs> I should have probably made it uh, 30 feet long. Or probably uh, 35, about 35, because once I start the front suspension stuff, I'm probably going to end up having to turn the car around because I don't think it depends on how long my leads are. I haven't stretched my welding leads out all the way. I haven't never used this welder. I got it secondhand off a guy and haven't set it up since I bought it. I had no way to plug it in anywhere, but I did. I did finally get that extension cord made. I got some argon. I got some wire. So today we're gonna we're gonna work on fabricating some stuff on the rear end. I say fabricating. I'm gonna work work some more on tacking the uh, tubs in. I still need to cut out. All I've done on this side is cut the actual tub out. I haven't cut any of this any of anything else out of here. So all of this has to come out. I'll do it exactly like I done the opposite side. Uh, get all that cut out. I'll probably set the camera up on a on a tripod let it film on a time lapse i hate doing time lapses but y'all said that y'all enjoy watching that stuff it's really sped up but trying to please y'all y'all said y'all like to see that stuff so i'll put on a time lapse i'll stop as i go show different pointers what i'm doing and also i'm probably going to do some things different from what i've done from the driver's side to the passenger side i learned some stuff after doing some some of the uh, 
driver's side that I'm going to do a little bit different on the passenger side. So yeah, that's what I got going on today. Like always, I got to clean up from the last time I worked. I got a bad habit of not cleaning up after I get through working, but I've been running my suck long enough. Let me sweep this area up and we'll get started. I can tell I have not welded in a really long time. My welds are terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. I'm still trying to work the machine out. I'm going to get some scrap pieces that I've cut out of this thing to practice on. So, uh, but until then, I'm gonna set up, move this out of the way. I'm already marked where I need to cut on the inside of this blue line. So I'm gonna go ahead and and uh, tackle that so that once I am ready to do so, I can go ahead and weld both sides in at the same time. I'm also going to uh, clean up under here. If y'all have been watching and following along, y'all know I got Marty Merlat upper and lower boxes. Got the upper and lower boxes from Marty Merlat that I still need to weld in. So I am going to get ready to weld those in. I'm not going to do it yet. I am going to get this welder set up, get all my the settings on the uh, on it good to where whenever I do weld those, I can I can weld those in really good. I I used to know how to weld really good, so it should come back to me pretty quick. And I, I'd like to lay down some really good welds, get some good practice in because I will be putting a cage in this car myself with this welder. So. Uh, I'm gonna practice a lot. I'll probably go get some 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 scrap bars from somewhere to practice welding on because I would like to do pretty decent on this cage once I build it because if I do ever put this car into a wall or turn it over, I'd like the cage to to save my life, not break a bar and kill me. so but uh let's get started on cutting this side out. much but got a little bit of it cut out had to stop run to the hardware store to get some new blades for my sawzall it was dull i need to get in here and, and cut the rest of this off i cut halfway i need to cut the rest of that off cut that off come to the back side sorry cut the back side of that off so this will come off and then i'll be able to cut the rest of that off and then i'll be able to come down that line i got long enough blades that these pieces in here won't won't mess me up. I'll be able to cut right through them once I get all of this right here off, and then I'll be able to make a good, clean, straight cut down to the bottom, and uh, hopefully I can make that sawzall blade curve around that curve. <clears throat> but yeah, this side, I might need to re-tape down the front side down there. It looks like it's a little crooked. I'm gonna have to measure that. I don't know if y'all could tell. You can't really tell. It's a little crooked, so I'm gonna actually stop and re-tape that line and make it straight down to the front side down there. But I'm gonna set this. Like I said before, I hate doing time lapses, but they, they do make it easier where you can kind of see what I'm doing. Yeah, can you tell? I can kind of tell that it's crooked there, so I'm gonna, it's a little bit crooked. I'm gonna get in here and <clears throat> and straighten that line out make sure it's good before i do start cutting but i'm gonna set this back up on the time lapse so here we go
Alrighty, we got this side cut out now. It's pretty straight across there. As you can see, I just cut cut them off on this side. The other side, I did drill it out, so the other side's a little bit more cleaner actually than this side. I don't really care to drill these spot welds out, so I'm just gonna. Uh, I took a my hammer and banged them pretty flat. Uh, probably hit this one some more. Get them really flat. I'll hit them with the grinder, knock all the edges off so they're not going to cut anyone up. I am going to leave this in like I did the other side. These two pieces, they add a little bit of support right in there. Not a, terribly a whole lot, but they do add a little something, so I'm just going to leave them in there. I'm not really worried about cutting them out. Come around the front edge, I do. Now I need to clean off all my edges on this. This front side, I do have to trim to fit the curb in here. It's a little bit different from where it did sit. So I do have to trim it a little, make it fit a little bit better. I haven't decided if I'm gonna fully weld these things all the way around in here, if I'm gonna fully weld them or not, or if I'm gonna put welds, I gotta clean that crap. I'm gonna clean all this up and come in here and weld it better. I realized earlier that my argon wasn't at the right setting, so I wasn't getting a whole lot, so. That was part of my problem earlier, but I can't decide if I'm going to tack like every, every three or four inches, put like an inch, inch weld, every like four inches, an inch weld all the way around it and then come in and seam seal all of it. Or if I'm going to weld, fully weld the whole thing. Let me know what y'all think I should do. Uh, if I do every three or four inches, it definitely will save me a lot of. A lot of welding material and a lot of time but uh yeah all right guys that's gonna do it for tonight i got a little bit a little bit done i had to stop in the middle and go to lowe's to get some uh some more uh, sawzall blades and stuff uh but made some progress i might i might come back out here later and do some some stuff off camera cleaning up i might fit the fit the upper well i know the upper torque box fits i might get down under the car and finish i never did finish trimming out what all needed to be on the lower torque boxes so i might grab the lower torque boxes and and start fitting them i won't weld them in i'll start fitting them in because i do need to finish those videos on the upper and lower torque box installs uh, or finish that series i should say i've done a couple videos on removing them now i need to do a video or two Probably two on install, one on the upper and one on the lower torque box install videos. Uh, I had a lot of feedback, like I said earlier, people wanting to see how I built that that cable. So I'll probably, after I end this off, I'll unplug that thing, open it up, and uh, do a do a short video on that little little tech video on that. I know my somebody com commented and mentioned it. I know my dryer plug is uh, 30 amp, but it, it works. This little welder doesn't pull too, too, too much. So I'm not, I'm not worried about it. Uh, on the next video, I'll go over all that with uh, 30, 50 amp. Dang, my face is dirty. And there's a helicopter coming over. So give me a second. But yeah, I'll do a, do a video on that that thing on that video I, I am not a certified electrician so don't take what i say to heart if i'm wrong on some things don't be afraid to call me out on it i read i read all the comments i try to comment back i appreciate all the uh constructive criticisms and pointers and all that keep them coming i really appreciate it uh but yeah that's gonna do it for tonight starting to cool off i gotta go get my kids from the daycare uh be on the lookout for the next couple of videos we will be going down to bradenton florida to race in cletus's 16 car invitational be on the lookout for that video we'll be headed down there sunday afternoon racing monday and coming back on tuesday so like always everyone comment like subscribe hit the bell to get notified of whenever I'm going to be posting new videos. And uh, if you haven't, please subscribe.
See y'all.